Hello, my name is Sergey, and I'm working in Fleetmatics as a web developer. Uh, so, and today we will talk about uh, Angular 2 and uh, uh, about something that connected to it. And uh, let's start from the history. And uh, everything was uh, started in autumn of uh, 2014, and the uh, core team of Angular just decided to kill half of uh, framework. And uh, as you can see, that's uh, a rip uh, for dollar scope that uh, uh, lived uh, from 2009 to 2014. So, and uh, let's kill it. And uh, uh, what, what was actually killed uh, in the framework? Uh, it was killed controller, directives, dollar scope, Angular module, and uh, uh, GS Lite. And uh, actually, I, uh, from my perspective, uh, everything not killed. It just rearranged and uh, reviewed, and uh, uh, every uh, thing that you used before, you just used in another approach. And uh, uh, more details, you can take a look uh, on the, this uh, video presentation. Uh, and uh, uh, what's the foundation of Angular 2? The, uh, be before, it was at script that uh, is a, su a superset of uh, ECMAScript 6, but for now it's TypeScript. And uh, annotation and uh, generic, binding, uh, generic binding syntax and uh, dependency injection mechanisms that based not on the strings and based on the types. Uh, so, and uh, inside Angular 2, everything is going to be component. And uh, actually, you just develop some class and uh, just annotate it by some additional annotation or decorators uh, that just describe this is co uh, component and this component has this view and this component could be injectable or not in, uh, injectable. and that's it. So, and uh, also uh, in the middle of the current summer, uh, core team uh, from Angular just uh, provide some update of what's uh, their plan to develop uh, and uh, what's uh, nearest feature we will have in Angular 2. Uh, so, and uh, they concentrated on the performance and uh, new things connected to the rendering. and. First uh, of all, uh, they just provide uh, on the deep tra tree uh, benchmark. It's some benchmark uh, library that used inside Angular, and uh, uh, they use uh, this library for testing a new uh, version of Angular with uh, old version. And uh, on the chart, we have uh, four different uh, columns and. Uh, 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 left to right, yeah, L left to right. Uh, first, it's performance Angular 1, and uh, uh, all this, char uh, this chart uh, shows us a rendering uh, speed. And uh, first, it's uh, rendering uh, the same application inside Angular 1, second, in Angular 2, uh, third, Angular 2 view pool. Uh, view pool means uh, that uh, uh, that's regular uh, actions that you do in framework like scrolling or show pop-up or hide it or whatever. And uh, baseline, it's uh, some uh, original applications that just develop without any framework, just manually everything. And uh, as we can see that uh, the Angular speed, it's uh, three times faster than Angular, uh, Angular 2, not 3. Angular two faster than Angular 1 uh, uh, in three time. But actually, you can, could be very close to the baseline performance. And also, uh, they uh, uh, improved uh, uh, consuming memory. And uh, uh, on this chart, uh, we can see the same uh, uh, I think uh, Angular uh, 1 uh, spent a lot of memory and Angular 2 uh, v very close to the baseline. 
Uh, so, and uh, uh, what approach is they just provide as a, a new thing? And uh, actually, uh, our applica uh, each application uh, usually uh, everything run in one thread in the browser. And in that thread, we usually have browser, uh, we have framework logic, and we have business logic of our application. But, uh, and uh, uh, also we should remember about garbage collection. And uh, in that case, so we can, can very easily, in the big, I mean, in the big application, we can very easily to uh, make our application slow or not responsive because something going under the hood. And if we just divide the uh, Angular logic uh, and our application logic to web worker and just leave in the main uh, thread in the browser just DOM render, we can uh, improve performance because uh, all logic will uh, be working in two different uh, threads and uh, <coughs> uh, it will be good uh, res responsiveness. And uh, main uh, difficulties uh, in that case is that uh, web workers has a lot of uh, restriction for implementation. Uh, but uh, Angular team just promised uh, to provide some solution for that and in the future we could uh, just run our application in two different threads. And uh, current uh, hardware could easily run two threads on different CPU core and it will be good. And uh, also, they just started think what we could improve uh, in that approach if we just uh, leave in the main uh, f thread, just render. And uh, if we provide some additional render for HTML5, for Android, or for iOS, and basically everything else will uh, be the same on the mobile platform as well just different. And this uh, mobile render also will use approach like uh, native, uh, React Native, and uh, they just directly connect to the uh, view tier inside mobile platform without any uh, view, uh, any web view. Uh, and it will be, it, it's promised to be very performance approach. And also as next step of uh, uh, <coughs> for independent rendering in server-side rendering that could uh, be uh, improve uh, startup of our page. We no need anymore to load everything and just render everything on client side. We can pre-render some state on the server side and just return uh, for user and uh, user uh, could start and think what he will do uh, next, but in uh, that time we can upload uh, our JavaScript on the board and just work, uh, continue work as a single page application. Uh, and this is uh, very important for SEO and uh, uh, for uh, search engine crawlers that uh, could uh, just consume all uh, content from the single page application. And also, uh, in, uh, <coughs> we should render some preview for third part uh, applications that uh, just get image from the, uh, our page and that's it. So, and also uh, we have a new syntax for templates. <laughs> and uh, uh, th this is big changes because a lot of uh, uh, exist uh, directives like uh, ng-click or uh, ng-repeat uh, uh, was deleted and uh, uh, we should use just, uh, na uh, not native, but uh, we, we should use uh, just uh, attributes that available inside uh, HTML elements. Uh, and also provide some additional syntax. Uh, for example, uh, this is property bundling. Uh, it use uh, uh, square brackets for the provide some items to the component. And inside component, uh, we could use uh, this uh, element uh, like a uh, property, and uh, it's very clear mapping from upper level to uh, lower level. Actually, I use uh, uh, this one for mapping uh, uh, data uh, object for the web uh, components in my demo. 
So event binding, just use around brackets and for any event uh, you can connect your action by around brackets. And uh, our uh, uh, action methods, it's just uh, some methods inside our class. Here you can see the just class from ECMAScript. Uh, is it a visible code? So, and also uh, they provide uh, just a specific two-way binding that uh, very helpful if you use, for example, web forms or something. Um, uh, and uh, uh, if uh, we use just uh, square brackets and uh, uh, round brackets, we should provide very long syntax, but if we just provide some uh, specific directive uh, that's provided by uh, Angular 2 and Gmodel, we could, uh, could actually binding for two ways uh, some property from the element. Uh, and uh, by default, uh, each binding in Angular 2 is just one way. So, and uh, also, uh, they provide some additional uh, syntax for templates, asterisks, and local variables. And uh, actually, everything could be described uh, in HTML by additional templates uh, and by additional syntax inside uh, uh, these templates for mapping items, uh, index, and whatever. And it uh, could be improved and minimized to the template and uh, and also uh, in the end we could just use uh, this ng4 uh, directive with asterisk before and uh, it's uh, clear for reading and uh, you could understand that uh, in that template we just uh, iterate to, to do uh, collection and each item in the collection will map to the item object that uh, could be used. And uh, this uh, dash uh, before item and before i, it's uh, a local variable that could be used in other places uh, in your markup like value. Uh, so, and uh, uh, when uh, Angular 2 was involved, uh, they uh, announced uh, annotation in add script. Uh, but for now, everything was changed and everything just used decorators. And uh, it's very similar, but it's just a little bit uh, different approaches to provide additional information into the type. And uh, everything starting uh, annotation and decorator sta started from add. And uh, after that, just uh, provide some names. And uh, what's the difference? And annotations should be understandable for transpiler or uh, for third part uh, 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 libraries that uh, will uh, be understand uh, what uh, it should do with uh, some specific annotation. Uh, and. Uh, Transpiler should know how to transform it, but uh, decorators just provide uh, uh, another view for this one, and uh, you just put some target inside decorator, and decorator uh, knows uh, how he should provide additional information into the target by itself. And uh, uh, from the Angular uh, 2 Alpha 24, Two, uh, everything started to be decorator and TypeScript support decorator, uh, Bubble support decorator, but uh, it's some problems. Not all uh, decorators that exist in Angular possible to apply in current alpha version for the demo application. Uh, and uh, turn, uh, so, and also uh, very big changes was. Uh, done with uh, change detection. And uh, a new uh, Angular application has a uh, tree of components. And each component is uh, responsible for change detection uh, that could happen inside by itself. And uh, in that case, uh, we have three of change detectors. Uh, and it could be a huge number of change detectors. And uh, 
uh, out of the box, Angular uh, check this tree uh, each time, uh, check full tree of change detector each time when some changes inside tree happen. And, uh, uh, and uh, uh, the performance for this simple checking, uh, the uh, core team promised that uh, uh, hundred thousand, hundreds thousands uh, ch a simple change detection pure uh, a few milliseconds, but it's also platform dependent, uh, but uh, it's very big improvement for the performance. But also uh, we could apply some strategies that optimize, uh, could optimize this change detection and we could use inside uh, Angular fr framework immutable object and observable object. And uh, what uh, and these strategies uh, also could minimize uh, the number of uh, change detection from O n to O log n. And uh, uh, what's immutable object? Um, everything that uh, just provided into the, uh, the all da data object that provided inside framework uh, could change just one time. And uh, Angular will wait for new version of this uh, uh, data element uh, for new uh, next update. And uh, after uh, a few checked uh, the elements and uh, ch change detector, just disable it. And uh, most of the time, uh, application just wait for new version of uh, data elements. Uh, and uh, for setup it, uh, we can uh, just add uh, to the component uh, annotation or decorator some additional parameters, ch uh, change detection on push, and that's it. And uh, also we could use observable object that uh, uh, are responsible for changes and for firing uh, events of changing uh, but, uh, by itself, not by framework, and framework just wait of uh, uh, change event for each change detector. And uh, after first pass application, just uh, uh, found that n nothing happened and just wait what will be changed first. And uh, let's say first uh, change detector just find uh, fire changes. And after that, the application checked whole tree for the all changes, and after that, again, uh, sorry, not all three, just uh, path from the up change detector uh, to do change, the, uh, just one uh, leap uh, inside change detectors three. And uh, uh, for using uh, uh, observable object, we just should use some specific observable object uh, from the Angular. And uh, la uh, last things is that, uh, uh, not last, uh, and uh, I also would like to give some information and my vision how we could migrate from Angular 1 to Angular 2. And out of the box, uh, I don't know the code in this part, very important. And uh, uh, is it visible that uh, we have scope as a dependency parameter for the uh, our controller and uh, our action method connected to the scope. And uh, we just use a uh, wrapper around our component by uh, directive ng controller, and uh, we use ng click directive for the, our method. And uh, this is, uh, was first approach that provided by Angular core team, and after that, they just started to think that it's not so useful and we should use parent, uh, dollar parent for getting upper level or change level of our responsibility. And uh, they just uh, provide a controller S approach and uh, in that case, we just can uh, declare some uh, name inside our template and uh, we should connect uh, action method not to the scope and uh, to the controller uh, context, this. Uh, and in that case, uh, it will work very uh, clear for, uh, uh, the template will be very clear for understanding when you read what action will happen and what context used. And uh, 
<coughs> uh, if uh, somebody uh, familiar with uh, John's Papa guideline for the uh, developing uh, Angular One, uh, he suggested just to use independent uh, uh, function that used housing in uh, hoist, hoisting uh, inside JavaScript. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so, and uh, uh, just use uh, also controller as uh, syntax and uh, uh, just ho uh, hoisting for the controller function and uh, some specific uh, property dollar inject for uh, de describing uh, what dependency this controller has. And uh, if we just... Uh, Change, uh, change to two different files, the, uh, this approach, and just rewrite it in ECMAScript 6, we will have all this code that we have. And uh, we have uh, import uh, controller from in a uh, new file, and uh, we just put into Angular our controller. But our controller could be just a class inside ECMAScript, and uh, we just uh, use inject uh, for uh, our dependencies. Uh, and th uh, this is a real Angular component from MindDemo that I just developed. And if you look uh, to the section class to do list and uh, on the bottom to do list parameters, that's everything f uh, that we have in Angular 2. And from my perspective, it's very similar class con uh, controller and class. To do list, it's uh, just object and parameters uh, that uh, uh, dependency injections that uh, I used uh, ECMAScript 5 in Angular 2 because uh, in some case uh, with Babel uh, at uh, injectable and at inject uh, uh, decorator doesn't work and uh, it just provides uh, some uh, errors and that's it. And also, uh, just a comparison uh, between Angular 2 and uh, Angular 1 uh, performance. And uh, this guy just developed some uh, huge application for the Angular 1. And this table just uh, update a, a big list of uh, items. And uh, digest cycle just provide, uh, it's very slow for digest cycle to update this big uh, massive of elements inside this grid. And uh, uh, for improved performance in the same uh, program, he just used Angular 1 with a, a React directive that uh, could render a React template inside Angular application. And also, uh, and on the presentation, this guy just uh, uh, did some mistake inside source code, and it was huge. Uh, advantages for Angular 2 uh, instead of uh, uh, React. But uh, actually, on my machine, uh, it looks very similar. Uh, but also, I just provide some small piece of video that show uh, it is a React example. And next uh, grid, it's Angular 2. It looks uh, the Angular 2 faster than React implementation, but I just get uh, the, this uh, source code on my machine, and uh, I thought uh, to put online all these experiments like uh, comparison, but it's uh, very hard to provide it uh, and build it to one file without a lot of dependencies. And uh, on my machine, it looks just similar, not uh, Angular uh, 2 not faster than React, and it's just similar. Uh, sorry. Ah, come on. Yeah. And also, I just provided uh, to do 
uh, example by myself because I just looked around uh, some example of to do just use in my presentation but all examples just use usually use one component that provide all logic and everything in one component but uh, for me it was uh, very interesting uh, just provide everything like a few components and uh, provide filters and how, how it connects and uh, some data objects that will be uh, included into uh, another component and uh, do all this stuff and uh, uh, source code uh, of this to do available in my github and uh, click yeah the list of sources that I use for my presentation and do you have any question Hi, my name is Danilo. Uh, I've seen some guys using Angular to uh, experience things, and they use with TypeScript. There is a way to use Angular without TypeScript, just... I, I've uh, never seen the, an example with um, pure JavaScript. Uh, actually, just by myself, I decided not to use uh, TypeScript, because in that case, JavaScript will be just Java. And I like JavaScript, and in that case, uh, I just uh, use ECMAScript uh, and all features that provided by Bubble. But uh, for demo application, I think for now better use uh, Tracer from the Google because uh, it seems uh, it supports more uh, decorators out of the box. But uh, Bubble has some uh, uh, problems with it. Okay. And uh, uh, did I answer on your question? Because I didn't try the <laughs> TypeScript at all. Um, one for me. When is it earmarked to be released? Uh, uh, release? Yeah, like is it, is it Nobody like knows. No one knows. Okay, fair enough. So if we have a large existing Angular 1 application, do you recommend like I'll start thinking about the upgrade strategy because it seems quite you know intimidating amount of code to change if you have a large application. Sorry. So for the upgrade strategy from one to two, if you have a large application, it seems like an intimidating amount to change. You're, you're, you're like the code structure seems a dramatic change. Mm, like actually, uh, on my work, I have started to develop a Angular one application with thinking about Angular two. And in that case, I just uh, do investigation around uh, uh, how we could migrate. Or and also, Angular core team uh, promised that we could run Angular one inside Angular two or Angular two inside uh, Angular one. And I think migration shouldn't be a problem. But um, it's hard to say what the better because it's just new and uh, everything uh, new. And uh, inside Angular one, we have some cool thing but also a lot of problems and it's hard to answer would I prefer Angular 2 instead of Angular 1 because if you could uh, uh, if you know how prepared Angular 1 you will just enjoy it you know the ordinary way of writing TypeScript is uh, you write your TypeScript code then you compile it and uh, the thing that ruins the production is actually the JavaScript code I know uh, Cool. So uh, with TypeScript in Angular 2, when does the compilation from TypeScript to JavaScript happen? When? Yeah. Uh, on uh, S current uh, workflow with ECMAScript on precompiled uh, time. Uh, for example, you can uh, uh, set up uh, Gulp uh, task that will be for each changes in your TypeScript or ECMAScript 6. Uh, uh, changes inside files will precompile it and uh, concatenate to one file and provide for you production ready or development ready with maps file. Actually, my demo I, I uh, use uh, uh, system GS for loading uh, and for development I just uh, use um, uh, 
dynamic uh, resolving call dependencies uh, from the uh, import, uh, but uh, for providing uh, uh, version for the demo and putting it into the GitHub pages, I just uh, use bundling from the system GS and uh, it's provide uh, write maps, fi uh, source map files, and for now you can just look inside uh, my demo application, original source code, from ECMAScript 6. And uh, for TypeScript, it's the same. Just, it's your prefer. But if you just, you know, inspect the code uh, on the production, you will actually see the JavaScript compiler, not TypeScript, correct? Without the dot .map file. Is that right? Sorry, so I didn't If you inspected the actual code, code source. You, you just, uh, uh, map source map file not visible in the browser. It's going just under the code because uh, I just looked uh, to the, um, developer tools uh, to network uh, tab and uh, uh, before it was a uh, visible source map uh, request uh, to mm -hmm. the server side but for now it's just hidden and on the uh, development server I can see this request but uh, in the network uh, development uh, tool I don't see uh, this request at all but uh, in the some specific place in the um, sources uh, we can see the uh, our original set of uh, ECMAScript 6 or TypeScript files. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other questions? No? All right, cool. Thank you.